Matasan here. Hey. So, what's on the plan for today? I have a plan. Believe it or not, I have a plan this time. It's not related to basement. So I think we have some pumpkins. Some fresh pumpkins. No? Oh. We have a jack-o'-lantern. Ten pumpkins. Alright. Give me that one. Uh, need to remember how to run a fire again. <laughs> Give me one of these. Alright. So. We had some invasion issues last time. No. Gotta do this first. Put the log in. Okay. We had some invasion issues previously. So. We're gonna light up this place. As we do. With jack o' lanterns. Because unlike torches, they stay lit forever. Scary noises, huh? Guess we got a dark basement. Maybe we should put one or two down there, too. Unless it's our roof. No. Can't be our roof, right? Might as well make as many torches as we can. I guess I had torches already, huh? Oh, well. They only stacked to 32. Boy, you can make a lot from one log, can't you? I guess I just don't often feel like sitting here and clicking sticks in, though. So I usually just uh, do the method that gives me half as many sticks, or takes twice as many sticks. Okay, this is actually too many torches. <laughs> Alright. So... That is first priority. Uh, we need to situate ourselves with food, don't we? I guess we could just grab a couple of these, right? These are full of food. Yeah. We just keep those on us. And hey, they double the storage. So, once we eat our sandwiches, Right, let's deal with the basement first. Probably this corner. All right. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, oh. This guy acts like he never played Minecraft before in his life. All right, let's take the torches out so we can get a realistic lighting scenario. Okay, what do we need? Here. Okay. Maybe one here, so. Yeah, and one for right about here. That livens up the place a bit. Don't want to use them all in here. Because, um. Uh, maybe one for the creepy understair. go too crazy. Waste them all. Alright, because we need some protection out here. That's good. Hmm. Maybe right about here. Very nice. Last time we just had all kinds of mobs rolling up in on us. From every which way. So if we could do a certain radius around the house, that would be great. I feel like they were mostly coming from this side, right? 
Though it is pretty dark over here. Well, I guess we had some tor some pumpkins up over here. So that's why we weren't getting bothered from there so much. But we could probably use one here. Hmm, then maybe back here. One final one. All right. Oh. Okay. That ought to help cut down the spawns anyway, while we're at home. Okay, let's take an inventory of our tools and whatnot. Ooh, you know what? I want to take this. Okay, we're going to try to harvest some stone while we're out. Okay, mace is almost broken, but I have a backup. Pickaxe is almost broken. Shovel. Scythe is looking good. We need a prospector's pick for sure. Is that a sword we've never used? <laughs> How's this hammer doing? It's seen better days. All right. So, I would actually like a couple prospectors picks. Uh, I think that hammer is a high priority though. I'm not sure if we can use a stone one. Maybe I should be saving bismuth bronze for uh, making that bloomery. Okay. What did I make this helmet out of? Bismuth bronze. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Burn him if you got him, right? Plan hide the ingot. Alright. Boom. And light it. Okay. Prospector's pick, prospector's pick, hammer, shovel. We only need four things, right? Oh, pick. Okay. Yep, so five is the number we want. So I'm thinking I'll harvest some raw stone with this thing. Here, let me. How's that going? Okay, it's warming up. Uh, I don't have a hammer. So maybe I can't show you. I guess I could take this one temporarily. So see how that, next to my torches, it's got a little square. If I was on stone, and I guess there's no stone near here. Well, maybe down here. No. Oh, yeah, okay. So see this? There's dolomite here. So if I right click it, it becomes smooth dolomite. And then I can pick that up. And I can place that. And I think something like that would make a really nice looking floor. Maybe not dolomite. Maybe granite? I don't know. Is that what we got here? What is this? Pottery. Marble. <clears throat> so. Oh, can work. Okay, we need to start pulling these out. Um, hammer, ingot, let's do a hammer. <laughs> Not last, okay. Is 
that not? Oh, punch. Well, mess that one up. <laughs> Those are probably all melted now, right? Yep. I need to focus more. Okay, you can melt away. <laughs> I need to eat a sandwich. Boy, that didn't do much. We got enough sandwiches for the winter? Probably not, right? Oh look, winter came to us. Kind of bad if our uh, hammer broke while we were doing this, wouldn't it? Okay, so I have an idea. <laughs> feeding it coal. That's all the coal we have, isn't it? I think it is. Oh, we got more over here. You know what? Let's take a couple of these and move them over here. Let's make them... Uh, where'd they go? Okay. I should probably leave that in there a little longer, but... Hammer. We can line these up. Then I can do that, that, oh, okay, so don't line them up, that, 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 no, that, 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 no, okay, my idea wasn't that great. <laughs> have a new idea. <laughs> some days you're good, some days you're bad. Oh, I didn't realize that one was empty. I better go fill these. Good. Danger. We live in the danger zone. Alright. So let's start with that. Then let's do that. No. Start with that. Then do that. No. Start with that. Then do that. Hey, it worked. stick and there yeah things run low but this stuff takes a while doesn't it I should pull a second one out now. Okay. 
Prospector's pick, pick, shovel. Okay. Pull it out. Let's do a pick. Might want to make more than one pick, actually. Okay, shrink, bend, punch. Or not shrink. Yay! First try. Sort of. Okay, and... Prospector's pick. Bend. Shrink punch. Okay. Yay! Okay. There's one. I guess we got one that's not broken fully. Yeah, it's still got 300 durability on it. We got a smithing bonus on that one. So, okay. So, another prospector's pick and a shovel, maybe. And then we'll be ready to start our day. Big adventures planned. Sort of. Quite yet. One more tick. And a uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Alright. Might as well do another one of these while we got the uh Yay, okay. And a shovel. I got my groove back. I should probably pull that out of there. Okay. The groove is back. And then we're gonna fail on this really really bad after I just said that. Whatever hit punch. Oh, that should be a piece of cake, right? Oh, hey. Yep. That was pretty cake. Alright. Put them on some sticks. And we're good to go. Do I have a supply of sticks? I do. Let's top off our sticks before we leave. Okay. Leave our ingot molds. Anything else we want to leave behind? You know what? Let's bring this hammer. Let's 
leave this one. Right there. Okay. So, this is dolomite, which is one of the materials that you can get kaolinite from. So, we're going to go on a boat trip. So, all right, our goal is to get fire clay, which you get with graphite, clay, and kaolinite. We have a little bit of graphite. I forget right now where we got it from, but we for sure got it a little bit, um, but kaolinite you get from this stuff, which is kaolinite grinded up. <laughs> it happens in only in surface types of dirt. You know what? It's too it's too frozen for a boat trip, isn't it? Okay, so before we head out, let's look at the old map. So, whoa, that looks weird. I guess it turned winter while we were hanging out there, right? So it started snowing up. So I think th this general area right here is dolomite. So what I'm thinking, dolomite is one of the places you can find kaolinite, but we didn't find any. Oh, I think you can actually see the divide right there on the beach where the dolomite turns into marble because it's black sand for the dolomite and white sand for the uh, the marble. Yeah. So all these white sandy beaches, that's no good area. Not what we're looking for. Um, I can't tell what color those beaches are. But these ones are definitely marble. Or not marble. Was it marble? I don't know. And this is definitely marble. You can see the dividing line right there. So what I'm thinking is if we cross the sea up here, we're probably liable to find more dolomite area, you know? If it's down here and up there, but not down here, not over here, not over here. So we're looking for new dolomite lands to the north. So that is the plan. I had intended to take a boat trip, but that might not be necessary. With this icy sea, and what time of year is it? It is Friday in winter. Winter on a Friday, you know. I'm gonna lose track of which direction I'm going. This ice all looks the same. Okay. So this is north. Right of this away. These oceans can get very large. So if we start wandering crazy far, it might. Well, I guess we will take a boat, right? I should probably bring more wood, but I'm a big dummy. So, sailing out into the frigid sea, because I think we already established there's no trees north of us. So leaving with only one boat and only enough wood for one boat is a really dumb idea. We're looking for islands. Anything resembling land, really. We're gonna get lost so bad. This is a terrible idea. 
going boating in a blizzard. Isn't it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. Well, while we're on a boat eating our sandwiches, maybe I'll tell you another story. <laughs> As a bonus, nobody gets shot in this story. So, that's good. But it is, once again, about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> so... I was out and about with Bad Guy and Ocular, as I tend to do. And, uh, so, so, I thought, like, mm, okay, so we were out because of Pokemon Go again, trying to find raids, but, like, there wasn't much going on, so I'm like, well, you know, maybe we'll stop at some stores for a while. Oh man, I'm so turned around already. Um, you know, I'll stop at some stores or whatever. Boy, we're going a long ways. I'm getting nervous. Uh, can I zoom this out anymore? I don't. No, I can't. Okay. Maybe we should turn this away. Ah. Uh, so, I'm like, well, maybe we'll stop at some stores for a while, right? Kill some time. So there's a thrift store nearby, so I'm like, oh, I'll go see what they got for electronics, you know. And bad guy had to use a restroom anyway. So, uh, so Ocular was waiting in the car, and... <clears throat> And it, it was kind of hot that day, so bad guy left his window down, you know, like all the way down, so he'd get a nice breeze going through the car or whatever. Um, so we got in there, bad guy and I, and Ocular was waiting in the car, and uh, so it turns out their bathroom was closed. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> And, uh, so, bad guy, like, you know, left and went to walk to find another store or whatever. So, I'm like, okay. I did my look and they didn't have much of anything. Didn't have anything I was looking for, anyway. So... After a little while, I was like, you know, I'll just head back to the car. They're probably waiting on me anyway, right? <clears throat> so, I get back to the car, and there's, like, a guy, like, a stranger, <laughs> like, kneeling at bad guy's door. like talking through the window at ocular i'm like whoa <laughs> so i'm like what is some random guy just start flirting with her or something you know like what's going on here like i figured that's what was going on so i'm like okay But, uh, so, I kind of, like, boy, what do you think? Think there's anything in here? Hmm, maybe we should head this away. Cut across. Is this the right direction? This direction. Yeah, let's try going this way. So, 
so I'm like, all right, I'll help her out, you know. So, whoa, storm stopped. Uh, so, so I like sidle in there, and I go to sit down in bad guy's seat, you know. So I like open his door, <clears throat> and like, so it's like this hobo guy. Right? And... Like... He starts... He starts off by like... Complimenting my looks or something like I don't even It's like what is going on Okay, I got turned around. I don't know which way I'm going anymore I'm going straight <laughs> So I'm like what is with this guy? So I think he was mostly asking for money, but he was just like super talkative, right? And spent 90% of the time talking about random stuff and like 10% of the time asking for money in between topics or whatever. Talking about like, oh, I got all these broken ribs and stuff like that. I guess going for sympathy points or something? I don't know. Anyway, so he's just not going away. Like, I get in, I close the door. Well, okay. I, I sidle in and open the door, and he's like hanging on to the door and stuff. And I sit down, and I eventually get the door closed, but he's still like, he's got his fingers like in the window, you know? So I'm just gonna, oh, hey. Is this something we know about? This is not, this is new land. Newfound land. So, I'm trying real hard to get the window up but uh, you know I'm I'm not a very uh, what's the word oops um, assertive assertive person I'm not a very assertive person so I'm, I'm not the type to be like, hey, dude, get your hand out the window. I'm leaving. <laughs> you know? Plus, bad guy wasn't back yet. It's like, what the heck's he doing, right? So, oculars on her, like, Apple Watch, trying to scribble text at bad guy, like, saying help. But she's, like, typoing, I guess. Like, she's doing that because the guy's, like, looking at us, you know? It'd be weird if we, like, pulled out our phone and started, like, typing away, right? So she's, like, trying to tell, basically tell bad guy to hurry it up on the down low, you know? And, uh... It's just an island. All by its lonesome. Um... So, um, so finally bad guy shows up, whoa that's a tall land, it's so tall, and so I'm like oh, 
What's that? It's time to go? Uh, yeah. But the guy, he, he, that doesn't stop him. He, he just keeps on, keeps on talking. Asking for money. <laughs> so finally, like, bad guy throws some change at him, more or less. And gets in the car. And we leave. So then... Once bad guy's in the car, we hear bad guy's side of the story. So let me rewind to when bad guy left the thrift store. So he left the thrift store, and it's kind of a strip mall. So there's a few stores, you know, easy walking distance. But most of them are small, you know, you wouldn't expect him to have a public bathroom or whatever, you know. I better take this boat before I lose it. Uh, so, so the closest thing was a grocery store. Is, you know, a major chain, I guess. Fairly major chain. Uh, so, so he goes in there, uses the bathroom. But but then, you know, you feel bad just going into a place and using the bathroom, right? <laughs> you feel like you gotta buy something if you're gonna do that. Oh, hey. Don't kill yourself. Um, That was just advice to all the suicidal people out there. <laughs> okay. So... Seriously, though, don't kill yourself. Uh, he... So he's, like, looking around, you know. He's like, huh, you know, it's that time of year. Maybe there's some pumpkin spice, whatever. Some alcoholic beverages, right? So he's looking around there. He isn't really seeing anything that strikes his fancy, you know. So he's uh, looking at some other stuff, sees some movies. He starts getting messages from Ocular, like Yelp. And he's like, okay. He, th he assumes that has something to do with whatever he last texted her, you know. Like, oh, maybe you should leave a bad Yelp review or whatever, <laughs> you know. But really, she's trying to write help and just typo in like a lunatic. Uh... Because she's trying to write it on a touch screen. Like, sign it, you know. So. it's a lot of magnetite here. That's iron. But we have limonite. Limonite? So we're good. Um, So, he's not, he's not getting what she's throwing down. <laughs> Not right away, anyway. So, you know, he keeps looking, looking at the movies, looking at this, looking at that, you know. He's found a few things he might want to get, so he's, like, carrying them with him or whatever. So, eventually, he gets enough of these, like, texts that rhyme with help or are pretty close to help but not help that he finally realizes she's trying to write help not only is she trying to write help she's trying and failing to write help saltpeter you know that's not what we're here for oh but it is here <laughs> uh, salting meat is good for making it not go bad. So maybe we should get some of this. Since it's so convenient. I should probably mark this spot too, huh? There's some grass. Take the old knife to it. Uh... 
so he finally realizes she's saying help and not only is she saying help she's saying help badly which is a sign that you really need help right if you're uh doing a terrible job of spelling help that that's kind of a dead giveaway you really need help <laughs> so he freaks out and so he drops everything he's got and he starts rushing out of the store so he gets to the door and he gets stopped and accused of stealing alcohol I guess because he went to the alcohol section and then later tried to bolt for the door right Oops. so so he gets stopped by security or whatever at this grocery store they're like accusing him of stealing this alcohol and he's just like taken aback by it you know and not at all in the mood to deal with this right now because he thinks you know oculars in some serious trouble so to get it over with as quick as possible he just starts emptying his bag you know like I don't think they even asked him to I think he just you know started doing it like they were telling him to give the alcohol back so he just starts emptying his bag being like look there's no alcohol right so even after he empties his bag they keep telling him to give the alcohol back like sir we don't need you to empty your bag we just need the alcohol you stole back. <laughs> so he's like losing it on these people like not like losing it but like mental anguish you know type of stuff yeah I think that's Oh, here we go. So he finally. I don't know if they let him leave or if he just like stormed out on him at that point. But so he got out of there. So then he's telling us about this once we finally ditch the hobo and we're like nah <laughs> you know mm. let's get some of this while we're here while we're breaking stone just in case it makes a good floor uh, so we're like after after dealing with this hobo, we're not putting up with their crap, right? So So we like storm in there, give him a piece of our mind. Okay. Well, so we storm in there. And we go up to the like you know, while we're well, we're getting in there. We're like, all right, bad guy. Which which of these mofos was it? You know. So he points out some like bald guy. We're like, all right, yeah. <laughs> you know. So so we go up to the uh, customer service desk. There's this lady there, and we're like, we want to speak to a manager, right? And. She's like, he's right there. And she points at the guy. <laughs> and we're like, no. <laughs> no. Um, so we're like, another manager. <laughs> you know? She's like, gives this kind of like, hoity-toity face. You know, it's like, well, that's our only manager. <laughs> you know <laughs> and we're like no <laughs> so we're like no 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 uh 
We're like, seriously? You know? So finally we're like, store manager? So then she picks up the phone. <laughs> Uh, so then we get so then we we uh basically explain it to the uh the store manager and they're like what the heck man you know And he's like, he's like offering us gift cards or whatever. We're like, dude, we just want an apology. <laughs> you know? And he's like, I'm very sorry. And, uh, we're like, no, we need that guy to apologize. <laughs> uh. So he like made the guy apologize to us. Well, it's a bad guy, but yeah. And then he gave us a gift card. <laughs> anyway, I guess. Even though we specifically were like, no, we just want an apology. We were incredibly tempted to just spend the gift card on alcohol, because that would have been the perfect irony. <laughs> All right, I, I think the rock salt dried up. I mean, it says there's a heck of a lot, but I'm not seeing it. Actually, I'm kind of turned around now after all that digging. I think we're headed this way. <sighs> so, the moral of the story, <laughs> I guess. Ooh, platinum. We probably don't care about platinum. I guess the moral of the story is don't rush out of a store. Because they will assume you're stealing something. Especially if you have visited a section with anything valuable during your visit. Coal? Wasn't I just saying I could use some coal? I ought to mark that. Oh, I don't have much to mark much of anything with. Uh, you know what? A log does a lot. Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. <laughs> Wasn't what I was going for. Nothing, nothing. This is still dolomite, right? Yeah, dolomite grass. Nothing. 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 I can't believe they just, like, stop someone like that, you know? Like... Because they can't, you can't say they saw a bad guy take something because he didn't take something, right? You know? But I would assume that they would have to see us take something if they were going to stop you, you know? Is this it right here? It is. This is it right here. It blends in. While I'm here, I might as well take it, right? It looks so much the same, I can't tell the difference. Let me put a torch on this. I can't tell the difference. It looks exactly the same.
Yeah, look at this. Dolomite, magnetite. You know what? I think I can slightly notice it. Well, of course I can slightly notice it. I looked at the wall and I'm like, what is that? But I can't quite tell which block is which. Boy, can you imagine if I was, like, pro-picking trying to find this stuff? Oh, I think. What's that? Yep, yep, right there. Oh! I get scared so badly. Is that a cloud? Boy, that doesn't look safe, does it? Okay, I got distracted. Magnetite. Boy, that was a hole right there that I almost backed into, wasn't it? What are you, a chicken? I was talking to the chicken, not to myself. You got a lot of HP on you. That was weird how we were like out the whole night and only saw like one enemy. Wait, that, that's a death right there. <laughs> okay, here's zombie. I'm gonna get away from the hole. Should I kill these? I don't know if I can breed them or not. There's some caves up in here, man. <laughs> I'm scared, afraid, and intrigued at the same time. I don't want to try. Okay. I kind of want to try to kill him. I'm scared. I'm a I'm a chicken. What's the matter, you chicken? Bark, bark. Boy, that is dark. Whatever that is, floating over there. We sure are finding very large samples of things, though, aren't we? When we do find something. Okay, time to fill up the old canteens. Lots of caves around here. Oh, I bet that logs the, uh, or that dark floating thing is the log I used to mark the coal, right? That would make sense. So I didn't realize it was dolomite over here. Is that more chickens? No, that's grass. That'd be grass. Get 
get out of the snow for a while. Good thing that wasn't deeper. There's a lot of chickens over here, aren't there? Not chickens, quails. I don't think you can breed them. What way am I heading? I don't even know. Magnetite. Magnetite. Okay, the game froze. Alright. Uh, 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 uh. I found something terrible. Apparently. I think there's like a giant cave in going on underground right now. <laughs> That's what I would tend to assume. Or you think it's just trying to freeze all that water? It's just like making it so slow. Gypsum. I think that's useless. Maybe I should mark it, just in case. I think it's useless, though. <coughs> Boy, the game is lagging. I can hardly move. Piggies! So I have found pigs closer to my house. Where am I right now? Right there. I feel like I'd have to go a long way to bring these pigs back. Like, maybe I should just kill them. I guess if I get real hungry. Is that clay? Or is that ore? Clay. Okay. Man, I don't know what's making the game so slow right now. What type of tree are these? Maple. Is this still Dolomite country? Yep. Is it just because I'm lo loading new territory? Because I've loaded plenty of new territory. Loaded lots of territory today. This is the first time the territory has acted uh, like it was causing me problems. Turn back now or face the wrath. Beware, beware. Man. You know what? Let's turn down some setting. Render distance. Let's do seven chunks. Let's see if that helps us at all. Seems to be helping already. Doesn't it? Oh, we're going to get hypothermia now. Look what we did. Boy, that, that perked it right up. Everything's better now. Weird. Is this still dolomite? Yep. Oh, and there it went. 
of course, we were able to walk two chunks, and then, <laughs> and then the problem happened again, right? After we walked two chunks, then we started loading new territory again. Yeah, I think it just doesn't like us exploring. But this is a game about exploring. Oops, there goes another maple tree plant. We're not finding much for minerals. Maybe... Maybe I should double back and go a couple meters one direction, right? So like, go a little ways this way. Far enough that the pro pick would be out of range of what it was doing before. And then like do a 90 degree angle. Well, maybe back up a little bit more before we started lagging so much. Because then we won't be loading as much new territory, but we can still. I don't understand it. I think I got too many programs open on my computer. I think that's my problem. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think this plan is really helping. We are doing what I think we're doing, right? Yeah, kind of backtracking. Loading a little bit of new territory while we backtrack, but not like a ton. I think my hard drive's like full. <laughs> And it's like, uh, I don't know what to do with all this data that you're trying to throw on me. We're going through the sandwiches. All right, put the smooth dolomite away. Put the saltpeter away. Put the magnetite away. Yeah. I feel like all these food being hungry particles are hurting us too. As far as uh, load times go. Man. I don't understand it. I really don't. Maybe it's a sign we just need to go home and work on our basement, right? <laughs> go do something our computer can handle. Man, I feel like I should stop and try to sort this out real quick. Even when I'm sitting here not doing anything, it's slow. Alright. I'll come right back and uh, figure out if, like, the computer's doing something stupid or something. Like, updating. <laughs> right back. 
Well, I closed a f I, I closed my web browser. <laughs> that was about it. Um, boy, that didn't help, did it? You know what? I'm going to try restarting Minecraft. All right. Cross your fingers on if we can get out of this hole. It seems like it's working better. Computer still computer fans still screaming at us, but it seems like the game's more responsive. You know, sometimes you just need a restart. I get it. I feel you, computer. I was hoping to tell which way we were pointed. That did not work out. Yep, I guess you just need to restart sometimes. I wonder if, uh... If that map is causing this lag. You know, because I haven't been using the map much until today. And today we've been using it a lot. So it makes me wonder... If journey map is not all it's cracked up to be. So maybe we should refrain from navigating with that for a while. Holy mountain cave. This is a cool place. Man. I don't even I don't even know how to get across there. Even this is deep. All right, keyboard don't fail me now. Okay. Not having much luck with the Kaolinite, are we? I found a lot of stuff, but not that. Coal. Do I see any coal? No. I guess there's a lot of snowballs on the ground. For some reason. Wonder if that's causing us lag. More coal. Lots of coal. So much coal. Okay. Let's mark it. So we found a lot of coal and a lot of iron. Holy dear. Um, I can't breed them. I think the only thing they're good for is killing. So maybe we should kill them. They drop hides, which we could use for leather. And meat, which we could use for eating. Don't need all this dirt and all this snowball. And all this other stuff. Oh, where is he at? Okay, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Any more meat? That looks like all of it. I think we can salt this meat, right?
combine it. Where's the salt? Salt's in this one, right? We might need to grind this up first. Wait, salt Peter's not salt? Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm a dummy. Salt Peter and salt are two different things. Hmm. Okay. It will last longer if we cook it. So, let's cook it. Throw a log in, throw the meat in. A little pit stop barbecue. Emphasis on the pit. Eh? Because it's a fire pit. Warm venison. Oh, hey, we're melting the snow. Look at that. Cooked rare. Let's go, like, medium. Don't want to get any parasites. <laughs> That takes a while, doesn't it? It's going to take a while. We got a lot of pieces of meat here. Well, I guess not that many seemed like a lot. I only got like three more. Get a little gnaw. Yeah, I only got two more pieces of meat here. Not that big of a deal. Well, I might as well take that out, put that in. Oh, hey, I can put that in too. Yeah, might as well till we go to use the chisel, I guess. Cooked medium rare. Trying to cook them all to the same doneness so that I can split them apart and combine them properly. Items in order a bit better. Rare, medium rare. Medium. Alright, last piece. Oh, our fire's cooling. Throw another log on it. Oh, I guess we can do that. We were running low on food anyway. Down to our last two sandwiches. 
And I think we brought most of the food that we had at home with us in those sandwiches, so... We might have not made it through the winter if it's not if it weren't for all this meat. So not an entire waste. Okay. I did lose track of which way I was going though. Sun is heading overhead, so that makes that east. I think I want to head west. Is that a cat? Pig. Yeah. If I find cows, I really want to keep them. Okay. I want to try to jump it, but. I don't think I can manage it. It's not that hard to go around. up gypsum Clay stone. I think that's new to us, but it's also a rock we can find uh, kaolinite in. So, not a bad place to continue looking. Maple trees are tall around here. Do you think that's a nice floor? Basement floor? It looks fairly nice. Maybe. I don't know. It's exotic. I don't know how many blocks I need for my basement. Probably a ton. <laughs> Coal. Well, if I've got a reason to stay, a reason to dig, is it this way? 
small over here. So in that mountain. I wonder... Just make digging safe. Is it safe to dig these? This is a way to uh, make mining a lot safer. Maybe. Traces. It was medium over here. It's large over here, and it's small over here. So, what is it up here? Traces. I mean, we are up higher here, right? So, maybe it's just down lower. straight down here. Eh. I don't feel like digging around for coal. Let's just keep looking. Gypsum. That's gypsum right there, isn't it? It's gotta be, right? Hey, that's coal right there. Mm. Ow. I mean, we might as well. While we're here. I don't know if it has a use or not. It specifically says useless. So, you know, there's that. It says useless right on it. Let's not take its word for it, though. Yep, literally useless. And I'm grabbing it anyway. What kind of idiot am I? one I just want to stack because why not there's so much of it so much useless gypsum I don't know what to do with all this useless gypsum I suppose that goes without saying doesn't it this is, oh, no, this is limonite. Limonite. Well, you know what they say, get wall the getting's good, right? This is just too easy. This is just too easy. <coughs> Spoken like a Know it all, Brad. What's well, the easiest way up there? Probably right here, right? knock out some of this stone
to. I probably don't need this lime and I do I? Well, I might need it eventually. I'll probably need it eventually. But all the same. Keyboard wasn't responding there. Uh oh. Wonder if my batteries are going. If I have to wonder, the answer is probably yes. getting a basement floor whether we want it or not just to help us mine breaking the walls on our heads. <clears throat> Seems incredibly safe, right? Because you break the ore, and that can't cause an avalanche. And then after that, you break these other blocks that can't cause an avalanche. So then there's no avalanche. No possible avalanche, right? you watch just because I said that there's gonna be one it's gonna find a way it's gonna Jurassic Park it up in here okay well I'm sure that's not all the ore this mountain has to give but I was gonna say that's the end of the end of the ones I see, but uh, I saw more. So we'll just get those really quick. All right. Okay. Um, let's do an unsafe maneuver. Unsafe maneuver coming. Incoming. Okay. maneuver again and again And 
and again. So, uh, okay, one more of those unsafe maneuvers. isn't even what I'm here for. It's just too convenient. I couldn't say no. I feel like this is more safe. <laughs> Risk in the one block seemed slightly safer. Alright, I think that's all the visibles. That was two stacks. Wow. Okay. I suppose it's just going to tell us about a very large sample of limonite. Oh, that was my ankle. That was the rest of it. Maybe it was dumb to jump down because I don't know if I have a way out of here now. Right? This is just a big ravine. What was I thinking jumping down? Need to jump up? Oh, here we go. Here we go. A boop boop. So even though there was a dirt on top of it, I was able to just break the, uh, oh, I thought that was an ore. For some reason it looked just like an ore to me. Okay, I think we were headed this way. Where's the sun? So that's east. So this is north. Yeah, there's a lot of gypsum down there. Yeah, there's a lot of limonite down there. Tops of mountains are bad places to check. So much coal, too. Though we haven't actually seen the surface coal in this area. Hickory. Were we looking for hickory? 
I feel like we were looking for hickory. I don't know if we were or not. I'll take it though. What to drop? Dirt. Dirt is a good thing to drop. Change my mind, I want the claystone stones more. A rare exotic type of stone. It's rare in where we live. Very large sample. Ah, yes, there you are. I'm like, it's a very large sample, and there's a big old hole in the ground here. Um. We have an inventory issue though, don't we? Mm-hmm. We could probably lose the boat. We could lose the fire starter. Oh. Okay. So that happened. Well, we're back home. <laughs> that was a lovely trip, wasn't it? Lovely, lovely trip. <laughs> See you next fall. Oh. It's January. Guess it's time to take down the spider mystery. The chrysalismus. Spider Miss Spire. It's that time of year. It was great while it lasted. Unwrap our presents. Pile them up. Alright guys, see you next year. Come back for next spider miss. we needed hickory or not but I'm going to assume that we needed hickory and put it in here and I guess I'll put the rest of this out in the pile
<sighs> I'm disappointed in me. <laughs> Lime water. Okay. So after soaking it, we get this, which can't really do much with. Hang on. I gotta do something or it's gonna bother me. Everything is right with the world again. Okay. So I think we take this and we lay it on something. Can I lay it on any old thing? Can I lay it on there? Do I have some empty counter space here? Really? Does it have to be like on a log or something? Because I think we're supposed to scrape it next. It has to be a log. Alright, let's get stuff out of here. Out of this one, too. Ah, gee. Whatever, throw it on the floor. Let's see what I care. I don't care. Throw it on the floor. Okay. I thought I lost you, Hyde. I thought I lost. Oh, hey. Forgot about that little project. Okay. Okay. Let's start this again. So I think you need to take a knife and cut it. Yeah. And you turn each of these little squares into a less dark square. And that gives us a scrape tide, which we put in water to make a prepared hide. Okay, we have water, surely? Yes, we do. Okay. So that's phase two. I should put the log up here. Next to the barrels. on the log pile again. So let's do the floor, huh? This is gonna look nice, right? That's a nice look, isn't it? I think it's pretty nice looking.
Yeah, I think this has a nice look to it. Looks very old timey. With that tan color. This is not nearly enough, is it? I can see that right now. seemed like a lot didn't it it seemed like I had a lot of this stuff like two stacks I'm like oh yeah that's gonna be plenty that was not even close to plenty it seemed like an excessive amount not trying so hard to break this shovel so I can just switch to the new one I don't think it's gonna happen though is it 167 there's not 167 blocks down here can't stand to let anything despawn. Even if it's something I'm never ever ever gonna use like gravel. Uh. I should probably put that gypsum in the basement. Never gonna use it, right? That's what the basement is for, stuff I'm never gonna use. some stuff I am going to use. <laughs> uh, Alright, food inventory. Let's see what we got. Four sandwiches. Two sandwiches. And a little bit of grain. A little bit of meat. A tomato. Some meat, some cabbage, some tomato. Alright. I think if I cut them in half, they'll fit. Yep, yep.
stashing away all the meat as best I can. I should like color coordinate that stuff. Okay. And then we'll finish off the sandwiches. That will be next on the food agenda. finished oh this is medium prepared hide which we then put in tannin and get leather here's our tannin put it in and then we get two leather and this is done So, plop it down, carve it up with the old knife, do it again. Torches. And we're pretty organized again. So, let's look at the map. So, we're all the way over here. Everything over here seemed potential for Kaolinite but we never actually found any. So maybe we should make another trip sometime. It looked very promising. So I'm shocked that we didn't find what we were looking for. But we got time. It's winter. So, for metal, the next step is bloomery, which we need this bloomery door for, which takes double sheets, which take sheets welded together and sheets are made from double ingots so that means each of these takes four ingots now we need eight of these four ingot things that is a big number that's like 32 we do not have 32 here But I 
We have quite a few. So, what do you say we get a start on it? So double ingots, which requires welding, right up there. Put a sandwich right there, just to fill the slot. Ooh. And we work on making some progress. So I think we need the bloomery made out of stone. Kind of like how these forges need stone all around them. I think we need like a stone base, the door on the next layer, and then like a circle with a hole in the middle. And that hole goes all the way to the top and you just like make a big chimney out of stone. I think that's how you do it. We have to decide where to put the thing and what we want to make it out of. Like, should we use. Should we use dolomite bricks, like for the rest of our house? Or should we do something else? I mean, we got this aesthetic going, we might as well. Where do we want to put it? Like, we need to be able to get... Like, you have to... Insert your ore from the top of the... Uh... Oh, don't fail me now. From the top of the... Chimney. So... Afraid to heat this thing up. Uh, so you need to be able to access the chimney. Like, have a ladder taking you up there. together. Okay, I was gonna say I shift clicked a thing in there and it just disappeared. Put the sandwich in there. close to the same definitely don't want to melt these at this point <laughs>
go a little further. Okay. Boom. Alright. So let's get that out of there. Get that out of there. say out weld them if I can real quick and make them into a sheet very nice alright so we've got two and a half pieces of the eight that we need For the bloomery. Good progress. Okay, and a half. Well, I mean, why not just finish a third piece, right? We're here. We got coal in the forge. Right? I mean, why not? I feel like I was talking about something and I trailed off and for forgot what I was saying. I don't know if that actually happened, though. I sure feel like it did. Try to 
keep this warm too. Yeah, I don't know if I was talking about something. Was it before I got distracted with the bloomery? Was I saying something about Kalanite? Just that we should go back? Not today, though. Not a today thing. gotten quite efficient at this. forge, but I was kind of afraid to. Bright red, three star. Makes us a third of the way to the bloomery. I'm not sure that I have enough bismuth ingredients. Right? Well, I guess we did just get a bunch of more limonite. Oh, wait. No, that wasn't an ingredient at all, was it? No. Malachite. And sphalerite, we were extremely low on. Bismuth, we're good on. Well, that sounds like a project for another day. Mm hmm. That's what I say. Mm -hmm. These jugs have been lasting. Oh, right. The leather. It's done. We got leather. What can we use it for? Making leather armor. Making bellows. We need one of those. At least one. And what else? Making a book. What can we use books for? Bookshelf. Book and quill. Okay, so basically we're saving up for uh, the bellows, which this ought to be enough leather. 
once that finishes. So I guess I'll just put that there. So maybe we'll make a bellows next time. Bellows helps us really heat up stuff in the uh, crucible, which we don't have yet because we don't have kaolinite. That's why I'm in such a uh, such a hoot to get kaolinite, even though it's not really required yet because we will want it relatively soon. Hey! We have all this. It would seem that's all you can use sulfur for. And it would seem that's all you can use saltpeter for. I think you can put gunpowder in a barrel. <coughs> Make a gunpowder barrel. Make a powder keg. Let's go a little further. <laughs> I was just going to do it in the house, but I'm like, eh, what if it accidentally goes off? So, how do we do this? I don't actually know how to do this. Maybe it's not really a barrel. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we could try it with one, right? Let's put one in there. Let's see if we can set it on fire. No? I think I don't understand how to do this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use Google. Use the Googles. We got some trees. No explosions today. I 
can still make TNT, I guess. <clears throat> right? I don't have any sand, do I? Nah, it's all dirt. I feel like an explosion. Ended on a bang, right? sand well darn what's a guy gotta do to have an explosion around here <laughs> I could look it up or something, but nope. Used all my charcoal. Just a big dummy. thrust kind of dance <laughs> all right <laughs> enough of that see you next time we'll probably probably smelt some more uh Bismuth bronze. Maybe go on a Kalanite quest. I don't know. Maybe we'll just stay home and make a make a sheep pen. Go try to get some sheep or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out next time. <laughs> uh, gotta draw some art. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.